Trina Gulliver. Hi. Back to the lakeside in just a few weeks' time. And it's a journey that you've made many, many times before and a successful journey as well. How are the players going to be feeling at the moment in the lead-up to this great tournament? Well, if it's their first time, then they're going to be uh, very nervous, obviously, and um, they're going to uh, be looking forward to it. Um, mm. If they've not been there before, then uh, they're going to be wondering what it's all about. They're going to want to take some time to look around and get that atmosphere in if, if they have time. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good fun for them all. Does that feeling change at all from the first time you walked in there to the last time you've, you you walked in there? Is it, was it the same venue and the same feeling every time you walk in? No, I'd say the first time is very, you know, you're in awe of it because it's mm. it's the mecca of, of darts, so to speak. So... Um, you know, and, and, and as you progress and, and do more and more and more, you're happy to be there because it's it's just a wonderful place to be. But it gets easier. You, you experience, you, the more experienced you get, it's kind of kind of thing you get, you get to know things a little bit better. So, yeah. Let's talk about the ladies' draw this time around. Bo Greaves will obviously be the headline and the favourite going into this tournament. How much pressure is really really on her? Because it's a similar position to what you've been in many times. Yeah, the pressure will be on her. You know, she's the, the current world champion as well. And uh, she'll be wanting to defend that title, obviously. Um, and uh, But there is pressure on her. She's playing really well. Um, and it's, it's hard to to have that pressure on you all the time it's expected of you almost and uh, you know some you have bad games and and uh, that pressure will be there for her well, someone like looking into the tournament is there sort of any way that you can see Bo losing this there's a lot of good players in that draw Rihanna Sullivan's been mentioned Lisa Ashton making making her return to the lakeside yeah. is it going to be a case of one of them needs a good start against her to stop her well, of course she's stoppable, you know, um, yeah. she's, um, we we all are, you know, but uh, the, like you say, there is there is a lot of good talent there and um, anybody's capable of, of stopping Bo, you know, that's, uh, that's, um, that's possible, but um, they're going to have to play the, the, mm -hmm. their good game. What have you made of Bo's rise? Because I think from 11, 12 years of age, she was sort of touted to be a, star in the sport and so far she's really risen to that but that doesn't come without his challenges does it no not at all I mean she's young you know she's 19 years of age and uh, she's got a lot to look forward to you know she's a uh, she's uh, she's just enjoying it I think at the moment and um, she, she's taken she's that sort of person that takes things in her stride mm. so she's quite laid back so uh, and I think at her age uh, that's a good thing to that's a good thing to be like you know, she's got she's got loads of time. She had a difficult decision as well. Obviously, had to choose between playing at the Lakeside and playing at Alexandra Palace, the PDC World yeah. Championship, which she qualified through the women's uh, through the women's world match play. Sorry, um, being put in that position can't have been easy. I mean, can you sympathise with the the decision she had to make? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, going way back way back when in two thousand and one, when the women started. Um, I had the decision to make as, as playing in the PDC. So, uh, you know, and that decision was really hard. Uh, but I don't blame her. I have to say I don't blame her because she is the current world champion. So, you know, she's going to want to defend it. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get a decision. Let's talk about yourself. Back playing darts on the PDC Women's yeah. Series. How has that experience been for yourself? Yeah, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's very different to other circuits that I've done. Um, um, yeah, it's 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 a really good uh, leveller. It's uh, you know I'm going into it and I'm not expecting too much of myself and I'm just really enjoying it again now. Is that quite difficult to rein back the expectation when you've achieved everything that you have? You you expect to be beating players, you expect to be winning tournaments, but to to be in a field that is so competitive, it. Yeah. The expectation must be must be a different level. It is. It's it is hard to um, <laughs> to uh, contain yourself. But then I have to remember um, we're being so competitive. Not to say I still am very competitive, mm, but um, I look at things slightly different because uh, I try and r take the pressure off of myself. Um, or I've been I've kind of like been there and done that without sounding mm. too cocky. But it's it's you know it take it took me to a, a dark place too. 
So, you know, alcohol became an issue for me. And uh, with um, darts being pronounced for alcohol uh, in it, it's, um, you know, it's, I've been wary, get, wary going back into it. Mm. So, uh, so that's why I'm doing what I choose to do now. I'm not, you know, if I feel like doing a tournament, I'll do it. If I don't, then I don't. Yeah, that must be quite liberating really having that own control control of your complete schedule yeah. you can turn up to what you fancy when you fancy and you've just got complete control of that and you you must be enjoying the game more in that environment yes i am and uh, you know it's nice to have a a weekend where i can just there's no darts you know yeah. i can go for a weekend away somewhere you know or something um, completely different and whereas before my my world was darts 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 yeah, you know and i have a lot to thank darts for as well but it's mm -hmm. you know th there can be a fine line <laughs> and uh, i crossed that line <laughs> at one point but now i'm back on track and um so yeah i'm, I'm just uh, enjoying it again you said you very much sort of proven everything in, in the game 10 time world champion there's not much more you can achieve but in some ways do you feel like there is still a little bit more for you to achieve winning things in the pdc and there's still a few more tournaments you'd like to get your hands on yeah of course you know once you're competitive you're always competitive but um it's i don't put that pressure on myself if it comes it, it's great you know i'm, I'm the world's biggest self-critic as well mm -hmm. so um but I don't put that much pressure on myself as much as before because, uh, um, you know, life's different for me now. Yeah. You know, it's very, very different. And I'm happy and content and, uh, and, uh, and I'm the happiest I've been for a long time. Oh, that's amazing to hear. Thanks for your time, Trina. Thank you.